What's going on, everyone? This is Alex, USA Days. Uh, so today we're going to talk about the future of QA. Seems like it is a concern. People asking what's happening uh, with QA industry. Uh, is it gone? Is it going to be dead very soon? Is AI going to take over? Uh, why there are layoffs? And I mean, I get it. People are concerned. The market is crazy. And on the news all the time, you hear that big companies are laying off thousands and thousands of developers and other employees. So what's happening, right? What is going on? And what will happen with QA? So I actually asked ChatGPT this question. Uh, this one is 3.5. Uh, I also have the latest and greatest, and we will ask the latest and greatest ChatGPT, the same version. So I asked, is QA dead? And uh, you can see the reply on your screen. You can pause it and read. But essentially, it says QA will evolve as a profession. And um, it's highly unlikely that automation going to take over. So this is the question. Uh, is QA dead? Please give reasoning. What will happen with QA in the future? It talks about agile methodologies and how QA is essentially uh, moving closer to development. So, you know, QA will have to adapt. And then uh, there another question, if the AI will take over. And then the same response or similar response that, um, you know, AI will play more or a bigger role in the QA, but uh, still QA is going to be as important as right now because there are a lot of uh, industry uh, standards and a lot of specialties that, you know, you can't really uh, have AI uh, be doing, right? So, okay. So this was 3.5. Now let's take this, the same question, is QA dead? Please give reason. And uh, will, what will happen with QA in the near future. Let's take the same thing, same question, and let's go to the actually, I tried this, but let's go actually to the latest and greatest. So there's a chat GPT-4, it's a paid subscription. You can see it's almost conscious. Uh, consciousness is at four bars out of five. So I guess when you get five bars, that is really when we will have a new master and overlord. Until then, just be nice. Uh, to chat GPT-4 and probably, you know, maybe the next version is going to spare you. So let's ask the same question, chat GPT-4. Uh, is QA dead? Please give reason in what will happen uh, with QA in the near future. All right. There we go. No, I don't want... Why do I have chat... Why do I have chat GPT-3.4 answer? Copy this. Chat GPT four. All right, let's go. As an AI language model, I can't predict the future and make the uh, definitive statements about the state of a field. However, I can offer some analysis based on current trends and historical context. That's good. As of my knowledge, cutoffs in twenty twenty one QA. <laughs> question and answer systems are far off from dead. Okay, so it talks about, okay, you're not that smart. Um, it talks about, instead of quality assurance, it talks about uh, question and answering. So I guess if <laughs> chat GPT can be a, like an answering service. Okay. Uh, a quality assurance. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got it. I apologize for the confusion uh, in my previous response. Now that I understand you are referring to quality assurance, I can provide a more relevant analysis. All right. Uh, you can see chat GPT-4 is not perfect. Uh, and that's why you will need prompt engineers for like any AI that's going to be there uh, for development or testing. Okay, here we go. So... Quality assurance QA is not dead and unlikely to become obsolete in the near future. QA plays a crucial role in ensuring the quality, reliability, and performance of products and services. Here are some reasons why QA remains important and what could happen with QA in the near future. So first, uh, increasing complexity of products and services as technology advances, products and services are becoming more complex, which requires even more rigorous QA processes to ensure their quality and reliability. Growing consumer expectations. Consumers today have high expectations for the quality and performance of products and services. 
Companies that fail to meet these expectations can face significant uh, reputation and financial consequences. Three, uh, regulatory requirements and compliance. Many industries are subject to strict regulations and standards that require comprehensive QA processes to ensure compliance. This is especially true in sectors such as healthcare, finance, and automotive, where quality and safety are paramount. Absolutely agree with this. Evolution of QA methodologies, QA methodologies such as Agile and DevOps have evolved to better integrate with modern software development processes. This made uh, QA more efficient and effective, ensuring that it remains relevant in the fast-paced world of software development. All right. Uh, in the near future, we can expect the following developments in QA. So first, greater use of automation. Automation technologies such as automated testing tools and AI-powered QA solutions will continue to be integrated into QA processes, reducing manual effort and increasing the speed and accur uh, accuracy of testing. All right. Uh, second, shift left approach. Oh, I agree with that. So shift left approach emphasizes the importance of integrating QA earlier in the development cycle catching potential issues before they become costly to fix. This trend is likely to continue with QA becoming more proactive and collaborative with development teams. I see this a lot. So QA is getting a lot closer to the beginning of the development uh, phase for certain features. So you can you know participate earlier on as a tester, not just test the product when the feature is ready. Emphasis on user experience. Uh, QA will increasingly focus on evaluating and optimizing user experience ensuring that products and services not only meet functional requirements, but also deliver a seamless and enjoyable experience for their end users. Okay. Uh, continuous improvement and learning as QA methodologies evolve, continuous improvement and learning will become even more important with organization investing in ongoing training and upskilling for their QA professionals. Okay. Uh, in conclusion, QA is far from dead and remains critical component of the development process. As technology and consumer expectation continue to evolve, QA will adapt and change to ensure the delivery of high quality products and services. Okay, so all of those are really good points. Um, so I think what is going to happen in the near future, like next three, four, five years with QA industry and mostly with dev and uh, tech in general, uh, we will have a bar that will be a lot lower for specialists. You will have a lot of engineers or you know uh, tech specialists working in the industry in QA in the development that will be um, AI prom specialists. So they will work with AI with uh, tools like ChatGPT all the time, generating test cases, scenarios, or maybe like some code. And you will have a lot of those people. You will have a lot of specialists in the industry that work specifically with the AI and with help of the AI, they implement different solutions for the tech, right? Uh, so you'll have a lot more jobs available in tech because of the AI. Uh, that's one thing. Uh, maybe uh, AI specialists will manage multiple projects with one prompt, you know, that, that can happen, right? But uh, what will happen in the end, the more complex solutions, so, complex automation or systems where you actually need the knowledge of the industry standards and some experience in like, let's say healthcare uh, or automotive as Chad GPT said, uh, you will actually see salary increase because those specialists are going to be, become even more valuable. So you will have a uh, manual QA kind of ca covered with uh, like manual specialists, black box testers, plus ja Chad GPT. But their demand for writing frameworks for automation for complex systems is going to get even higher. And I think you will actually, because of this, you will see a lot more job opportunities with the tool uh, and the lower entry with probably salaries at the current level for like manual QA. And you will see a lot more jobs for higher level entry, senior QA automation engineers that will pay even more because you will have a lot less specialists that will be only doing that Specific, specific things that you know uh, AI can do. So, and the lower kind of tier salary tech uh, employees can't really uh, accomplish. So, yeah, I think uh, overall AI is a good thing, and we will see a lot of changes in the future because of AI in the tech, and probably we will see a lot more jobs actually created that will be around managing the AI prompt. Uh, verifying the output and uh, making sure that the content is relevant and there are no you know, weird things that 
are going through um, the output that might you know have a negative impact on business. Okay, so hopefully this is helpful. So I, I think QA industry will thrive in the near future. You can't have a good product without good quality assurance behind it. Uh, and we will see more and more jobs with the help of the AI in the future. And probably even more once we have this market can recover uh, from the state where it is right now. Okay, so thanks everyone. This was Alex USA Days and bye-bye.